Hey, we have here on the board another integral from UNSW, integration B 2019, problem 16. We're looking at the integral from 0 to pi over 2, sine x, sine 2x, sine 3x, dx. Okay, I think there's a few different ways to do it, and one thing that came up first was different angle formula. But what I actually wanted to do instead was look at just the double and triple angle formulas for sine and see how that's going to work. Okay, so we have these two formulas over here on the right. I think the double angle formula is probably way more familiar because I have a hard time remembering the second one, the triple angle formula for sine. This one can actually be derived pretty easily with the angle sum formula. You do something like if you break it up like sine 2x plus x, then you can use that formula and expand it out, and you should come back to that. But anyway, the thing I like about this approach is you'll notice the angle on everything here is just a single x, single x, single x, even though we have the the cube there, okay? So that's gonna get it so we, we have everything in our integral. If I make this substitution in here, the angle and everything is gonna be just x. Okay, with the rewrite, so I just used my double angle formula here, my triple angle formula here, and we've totally rewritten this. And then we're gonna do some simplification. So I'm gonna do, let's see, I'll bring this two out front, and then, let's see, so I'll have a two in front, and this will be a sine squared, and then I'm gonna take this and just distribute it in. So let's see what happens when I rewrite this whole thing. So here we'll take sine squared cos x and multiple times three sine x, and we're gonna have three sine cubed x cos x, and then distributing to this term, we're gonna have minus four uh, sine cubed times sine squared, we're gonna have a sine to the fifth x cosine x dx. And then you'll notice now that we have this cosine x in common, so I can factor out that cosine x, but also I think in one step I'm gonna do is make a u substitution. Because this is gonna work out nice. If I make my u equal to sine x, then our du is gonna be cosine x, which we're gonna factor out the dx there. And I think actually I'm starting to regret having this two out here, so I'm gonna factor this back in. <laughs> okay, so let's make this substitution and see how it goes. I'm gonna update my bound first. We'll plug a pi over two in here. Sine pi over two is one. And then at zero, sine of zero is just gonna be zero. Then we'll multiply this two in here, so we're gonna have six. Sine cubed is gonna be, we're gonna make our substitution, we're gonna have u cubed. And then here we're gonna again multiply the two to the minus four, and we're gonna have a minus eight. And the sine to the fifth is gonna be u, so we're gonna have u to the five du. Okay, now I'm just gonna integrate using the power rule. So for the first term, we're gonna have six u to the four, divide four minus eight, and then here we're gonna power rule again, u to the six over six. Of course, we can reduce this, and we're going from zero to one. Clearly, when we plug in zero, it's gonna be zero, because each term is gonna be zero. So we're really just plugging in one here, so we're gonna have just six over four minus eight over six. I think I will just reduce this, so that's the same thing as three over two minus four over three, and what we'll do yeah, we'll get a common denominator, so it's going to be 9 over 6 minus 8 over 6. So our final solution is just going to be 1 over 6. Okay, that's it. I know it was kind of a boring, straightforward approach, but I think it was pretty effective. So let me know if you did it a different way. I'd be interested to hear. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.